Okay, so today we are going to look at configuring the window manager. And to be honest, this is more of an anti-configuration video because I don't really want a load of things in my window manager. I actually want as little as possible. All I want is a terminal and all I want is to be able to open new terminals. And I'll show you what it looks like in a minute, how I kind of want it to look. So, first of all, make sure you're logged in. Um, if you haven't been following my install videos or if you want to install i3, which is the window manager, first of all, update your package repository. Well, let's actually go into the actual i3 window manager anyway, because it's just, I've got the bigger text now. Right, so, so open up your window, or if you're in the terminal, whatever, and you're running Arch, of course, this is going to be what you're going to put in, sudo pacman-syu, enter, put in your password. There you go, already updated, so no problem. You need to do this before you install your packages, basically, so let's go sudo pack. Uh, no sudo pacman dash s and then I think it's i3 wm yeah I already got it installed but that's what you need to install okay so the next thing we need to do is go into the configuration file I'm just going to clear this and then I'm going to go into the cd.config i3 and then depending on your text editor is, I don't know if you're using nano, if you're going to do it the proper way, use vim of course. And then we're going to vim into the config. And this is like your auto generated config. Um, and yeah, this is going to be more of an anti configuration video, but it's worth it because you don't need all this stuff. You do not need this, whatever this is, you know, do I need to know my whatever here? Do I need the status bar? No, I'm going to show you you don't need it. And so, first of all, we'll just go for it line by line. I've also got up the Arch Wiki, um, what do you call it? The Arch Wiki, yeah, the Arch Wiki for i3. Um, and to be honest, most of this stuff here you can look for it and have whatever you want if you want to do any of this stuff I mean really I don't I don't know just I don't need it really it's good if you want to do all these things but the way I'm going to do it is just just stick to the terminal and the web browser because that's really what you're going to use and also it forces you to learn back it's going to force you to not saying this specific, but just generally, just use your terminal for bash to do all your commands, your system commands, script anything out. Okay, I know I'm going on a lot about this, but this is the kind of impression I want you to understand. This is how we do things on this channel. Okay, so, not see my laptop there, I don't know why. The camera needs to be positioned better. Anyway, I've gone on long enough. So, let's look at the first one. So this is just setting your mod key, so if it's your Windows key or your alt key. I've got mod 1 which is alt, yours is probably mod 4 for the Windows key, but I'm, this is in a virtual machine so I've got to mm -hmm. do this. Font use for window titles, well I don't want Windows titles to be honest, so we'll just leave that for a minute. This font is widely installed and whatever. XDG Auto Start, this, we'll just leave that. We'll leave that. XSS lock grabs. Um, well, i3 lock will probably go into that another video. I don't think it's installed by default, and that's just how you lock your computer. But there's another way to do it. It's another way I'm going to show you. It's a better way. Network manager. Okay. We don't need to see network manager applet again. We do not want this. So taking that out. So just. Uh, put a hashtag as you can see there and that just comments it out so that will go that colour dark blue, light blue 
and it won't start we don't need that honestly we can see well, if you've seen my videos before you can see your um, network stuff we, again we just don't need this stuff honestly you don't need it it's just distractions all right pulse audio okay you might have pulse audio installed i do not have pulse audio installed i do not use pulse audio i do not need pulse audio pulse audio i do not even need i probably do really but i don't even need was it pipe wire okay i know that's like controversial these days but else is fine unless you, I'm doing video creation, right? And most people say you should use Pulse Audio or whatever. But it's just another layer. If you don't need it, you don't need it. So unless you need it, just, I don't know. Put your whatever here. Okay, I'm going to do it the Vim way. Uh, what is it? Control insert? No, Control Visual Block. And then Shift Insert. Look at that, some Vim magic there. Thin magic. Right, so that's um, put all your hashtags on there. Mouse to drag floating windows to their wanted position. Well, we're probably not going to have a bar to do that, and again, I don't really need it, but we'll leave that. It's not a big deal. Moving tiling windows via drag and drop left clicking the title bar. Hmm, I don't think we're going to need that because we're not going to have a title bar. Start terminal. So you've probably seen in other videos, I changed that from what is it, simple terminal to X term, just, just use a terminal like X term. Again, I don't think it's a really big deal, but whatever terminal you're using, just change it. I've got X term. Kill focus window, yeah, we'll keep that because sadly, sometimes windows just break. Start D menu. Now, another controversial thing, people love D menu. It's good, don't get me wrong. I understand why people like it, but the way we do things on this channel is F, Z, F, finder, fuzzy finder. Fuzzy Finder is just great. This is again about using Bash, using your terminal. We do not need these graphical things. I don't know if you can use it in the terminal anyway. No, probably not. But we want to standardize things here. So, controversial, I know, but we're going to turn off D menu, run, don't need it. Oh, and you've got like replacements. I mean, it's. What is this? Change focus, now you can have this however you want, whatever keys, so you've got mod, J, K, L, like Vim keys, and you can shift focus, so if I hit another window, see I've got focus here, if I do a power key, a mod key, and switch with J, all these others, and you can resize, I've actually got, uh, I'll put it in the description, but I've got a um, reference card here. So again, it's all in the ArchWiki. This is just like shortcuts to do whatever you need to do. Um, yeah, so if you haven't already worked out how to use i3 in the basic sense, there you go, that's all your stuff. So let's go back into oh, what have I done. Right, I'm just going to exit out of this window, don't need this now. You know, again, look, you can just, you don't need most of this stuff, it's just, um, you know, you've got the f tiling and floating, I mean, this is manually tiling, again, I'm, I'm not too fast, manually tiling, I can get away with, because I use the TTY more than anything, but whatever. So, change that however you want, yeah, to me it's not a big deal. Alternatively, use cursor keys. Yeah, if you want to. I'd probably just disable that, but we'll leave it in. We'll leave it in. You never know. Move focus window. Oh, oh right. Yeah, so you can move. You can hold down shift on top of your whatever, and you can move windows around. So Cursor keys again, whatever. Split horizontal, split vertical. Yeah, leaving that in. So, as you've probably seen. So, if I do the um, mod key and E, mod key and E, it just changes it, and then you can what? Mod key, mod key and H. Oh, yeah, whatever. Mod key and H split. Alright, whatever. whatever. And then you've got your full screen, uh, full screen toggle. Okay, stacking, tab, whatever. WS. Again, you can 
if you want tabbed, I don't know why you want tabbed, but you might want tabbed. Tiling floating, so again, you could just, I mean, you, I guess I can demonstrate this. So what was the third thing? You've seen full screen in previous videos, that's just holding down the mod key and F, mod key and F to undo it. And then, um, so what's stacked, so, uh, what do I do? I do mod S, mod S, there you go. And then just, I just hit all, um, mod E to come out of that, and then you, what you got, mod, alt, um, yeah, tab, so again, you've got tabs, so you can see you've got tabs, there you click in, where I hate them, but yeah, you know, you can, I, I don't know, I just leave them in there, it's not a big deal, that one. So tiling floating, yeah, we'll leave that, whatever. Change focus, again, another toggle thing. Focus, spirit container, whatever. Right, default workspaces, so this is just your workspaces, so hold down your mod key, one, two, three, four, and you can load up whatever you want on that workspace. Switch workspace, yeah, more stuff. Switching containers, so you can move containers, so I can move this container to the workspace two. So if I do uh, mod key, shift two, and then go into two. There you go, we're now in two. You see it at the bottom left, but again, I don't even want this at the bottom here. This is all going. So you can reload the configuration file if you change it, and we're going to be changing it, but I'm just, I'm just going to log out and log back in. Start i3 in place. Yeah, whatever. Restart. Exit i3. So this is if you need to um, have a little bar that comes up to exit for whatever reason. Resize window. No reason. Okay, so yeah, if you hit your mod key, so if I hit mod R, you can see it comes up the bottom left, resize. So if I can show you this, so one of the windows I can hit mod R and then I can just make them bigger, whatever, like so, and hit mod R again. Yeah, great. Uh, binding arrow keys, uh, escape, whatever, back to normal, okay. Um, resize, okay, this is what we don't want. I do not want, I do not want a bar. So, uncomment this. I'm gonna have to uncomment all this. I'm gonna have to use some Vim magic here. Vim magic. Vim magic. Oh no, it's not Vim magic, I've just done it manually in the end, because it's not a lot. And that is actually it. Now there's loads of things I could enter here, you know, configuration things, but actually this is the basis of what, this is a necessary. Might not be sufficient for you, but this is how it should be. So I'm just gonna save this. Um, and then I'm gonna do, let's just do B kill I3. Okay, and then start X again. All right, now look. Oh, I've still got this annoying thing at the top here. Annoying thing at the top. But you can see no status bar. And you, it actually runs faster. I thought, I don't, I don't know, I hate those status bars. What do, if you need status, what do you do? Install HTOP. That'll be the next video. We'll configure HTOP. That's all the information you need. You don't need this. It's just a distraction, honestly. You realize once you get rid of stuff, you don't need it. It's a waste of time. What you like a system administrator, you might need it, I don't know. But you wouldn't have a graphical environment anyway. So let's go back into uh, the config. So what have I missed with uh what have I missed with the title? It's gonna be title in it. Let's search for title. Titles. Okay, maybe if I just do this, comment that out. Right, save this, P kill Y3, this is how I'm done. I'm not really in the config, can't be bothered. Oh, no, that didn't do it. Oh, it's always something with this channel, isn't it? Something doesn't work when I want it to. Okay, title. Where's the title? User, drag floating titles. Oh, so annoying. How do I get rid of that damn title? I don't want a title bar. Don't want a title bar. Mm. 
character. Do I turn no? Ooh, how do I get rid of this title bar? Come on. Kill focus me down. Change focus. Um. Toolbar. I'm going to have to use the internet. I'm going to have to disable title bar completely. Okay, this is promising. What is this? Um, new window, add this configuration, one pixel. Okay, new window, pick one pixel. We'll try that. New window. Uh, where should we do it? Should I just do it here. Let's just call it disable. Disable window bar? Or is it new window? Oh, it's not look good, does it? Nope. New window one pixel, new window one pixel. Oh, God. Nothing doing this right. Certainly. New underscore window, new underscore one pixel. Hmm? I don't know if this looks right. I don't know. I don't know. This has gone on way too long. There we go. Perfect. Do we want those two pixels? Do we want those two pixels? Let's do that as two pixels. It's gonna look bad. Why is it in red? Why is it in red? Anyway, I don't care. It works. It works. That's all that matters. Right. Why is this not already set up anyway? I didn't have to look online for that, but uh, error, error, okay got an error oh no it's gone into some horrible thing oh what oh it's gone into oh, shift control x no that's so annoying so annoying doesn't like two pixel okay that's interesting that is interesting but it doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. We don't get the error anymore. Yeah, that's all right. There you go. I think you need to set like border width, but that's beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Anyway, I think that's it. Just have your thing like that. Next one, if you want your status and information, I will do a HTOP video and that will tell you all the information you need, when you need it, not on tap, not as like some horrible notification. This is just the best way to do it. This is how we do it on this channel. So anyway, that's it for now. Um, yeah, let's just uh, end this video here. It's whatever. Oh yeah, fake YouTube like comment subscribe you know you want to do it you need to do the fake youtube thing for me there you go that's it